Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure some of you may have heard of NVIDIA's G-Sync and some of you may have heard of AMD's FreeSync. Well, now we've got another one to add into the fray, Adaptive Sync. So to get everyone onto the same page first, G-Sync and all of these other technologies are created to help to minimize either the screen tearing or low frame rates associated with either having uh, V-Sync either on or off. And it does this by basically syncing the refresh of the monitor at the same time that a frame of animation is drawn by the GPU. So what's basically happened now is we've got a Visa, who are also known as Video Electronics Standards Association. And they are the drivers of the standards that would go to govern various uh, screen technologies. Anyway, they have now added adaptive sync to the DisplayPort 1.2a video interface. So the idea behind that is there's several different capabilities to computer users and adaptive sync provides a smoother tear-free images for gaming and judder-free video playback. The other good news in theory is that it will also reduce power consumption which isn't really great for regular desktop content uh, if you're using like a high-end PC, but for laptops and so on, it could definitely be helpful indeed. And indeed, Sayed Afar Hussain, who is the display domain architect, um, said, and I quote, DisplayPort Adaptive Sync enables a new approach in display refresh technology. Instead of updating a monitor at a constant rate, Adaptive Sync enables technologies that match the display update rate the user's content enabling power efficient transport over the display link and a fluid low latency visual experience. Now adaptive sync to say it's new isn't exactly fair. It's a proven technology and is actually created as a standard component of Visa's embedded display port also known as EDP since sometime in 2009. But now, what we're going to be seeing is the introduction for external display ports. In other words, those that you'd find on, say, your high-end graphics cards. And indeed, Visa is constantly evaluating new methods and technologies that add value to both end user and our OEM member companies. Adaptive Sync delivers clearly visible advantages to the user for gaming and live video and contributes uh, to the development of sleeker mobile systems designed for reducing battery power requirements. And this was said by Bill Le Lempesis. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Uh, he's the Visa Executive Director. Visa has developed a test specification to certify display sync, uh, sorry, adaptive sync compliance and systems that pass adaptive sync compliance testing will be allowed to feature the official logo on their packaging, informing customers which display port certified displays and video sources offer adaptive sync. End quote. Now, one thing that's going to be super duper tasty here is that in theory, we're going to be seeing lower prices. Why? Well, quite simply put, there are no licensing fees associated with this. Apparently, from what I'm understanding, the way this is introduced and actually handles is very, very different from that of NVIDIA's solution, which is basically using a G-Sync board inside of the screen, which means that the screens are a lot more expensive. It's unknown which is going to be more effective on the long term. There are some that are stating, well, NVIDIA's is probably going to be considerably more expensive, but might offer slightly better quality, while others are saying, well, they're probably not going to really be perceptible for regular viewing. In other words, when you're playing a high-speed game, you're not really going to notice the difference anyway, although it's a bit hard to say. Obviously, NVIDIA's is not really meant for anything other than high-end gaming. And once again, this comes down to who is going to actually use it. Um, in other words, the manufacturers, who's going to actually say, okay, well, we're going to be actually putting this technology to use. And obviously, manufacturers such as LG and Asus and so on and so on actually have to implement that into the circuitry of their monitors. Regardless, it's a pretty cool piece of technology, at least in my personal opinion. And hopefully, it will become the standard. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Take care. And bye for now.